What's up everybody, Fort Wayne Vlogger here. I am with my buddy Runyon. What's up, what's up? What up? We're just uh, walking downtown. Gonna get some lunch. You know, have the uh, Pokemon Go app open here. Try to catch some Pokemon. Yeah. What level are you? 20. 20? I'm like 18 and a half right now. He's been playing a lot recently. This liquor store always has the best uh, marquee signs here. Forecast for tonight, alcohol, low standards, and poor decisions. <laughs> the fucking chance. Yeah, they got Pokemon Go, Chansey. What's it say? Catch uh, your Pokemon at our Pokestop. Oh, I guess they do have a Pokestop. Oh, it's the sculpture back there. Jeff Dunham's coming to town. Oh yeah, August 17th. I really want to go, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Certainly can't beat this weather today, huh? Nah, dude, it's really nice out. Oh yeah, super nice out, man. Everybody out walking around downtown here. Calhoun's a popular street, the street we're going on here. Especially busy uh, during lunchtime. Gearing up to go back to work, actually. Yeah, between like 12 and 1. Everybody out trying to get some quick bite to eat. All right, so we decided on a uh, pint and slice. Pint Go and grab slice. us a slice. I'm actually getting Maybe. a calzone. Oh, cows! Oh yeah, that calzone. That's what I'm gonna get too. I'm not copying. I mentioned it first. Kara, <laughs> <laughs> pepperoni, bacon. Um, so now I'm put on the spot. Let me get some <laughs> mozzarella pizza and mushrooms. Upstairs is the place to eat. Haha. <laughs> Whole upstairs to ourselves. That's what's up. It's like nobody knows about up here. I don't know why. Who wants to sit? All right. Olympics gone, the TV. Rio de Janeiro. I'm doing something that I was always taught not to do. What's Eating dessert before dinner. Is my cookie? Yeah, it comes with... Let me get a bite. You want a bite of my cookie? Yeah. Okay. Peanut butter cookie. Should there you go. Oh <laughs> yeah. Let me get some of that cheese. Just want a cheese action. You guys have that cheese action for real. Ready, bro? Yeah. Let's do this. So now we're walking over to the old fort, and it's a pretty popular place for Pokemon Go players. Yep. I don't know how it's going to be during the day right now, but I know it at night. Like after everybody starts getting off work, it starts getting really popular. There's some lures on it right now. Is there? Yeah. I guess there's some people there now, some lures out there. Not only is this the path to the best Pokemon Go spot in Fort Wayne, it's actually a pretty cool view of downtown too. Once we get up here. Na -na -na. Oh yeah. You can see all the buildings. So yeah, like I said, not a whole lot of people out here right now, but uh, look at all this dead grass. It's all brown because people are out here at night. We're gonna come back here sometime. Maybe tonight, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, there's always people out here at night. This place is just covered with people. People bring their chairs. I've seen people bring some like snacks for other people. They're like, hey, come by here, I'll be wearing this. Grab a fruit cup or a bag of chips. They had uh, people come out some dude was holding some tournament for getting like lowest weight rattata and what? Yeah, it was weird. He was giving away like keychains and shit. It was huh. kind of funny. So out here at Headwaters, there's some guy like doing some maintenance to the fountain. If you ever want to know where the cutoff switch is, it looks like it's right here because I'm pretty sure he just turned off the water so he could fix it. Probably nothing too exciting. Oh, whoa, there's like a desk. <laughs> what? There's like a desk down there and everything. Dude, it's like an entire... Oh yeah, there's there's like chlorine and stuff down there. Buckets of chlorine. Oh my god, I want to go down so bad. I know. It looks like he's like cleaning it out or something. 
You want to ask him when he comes back up here if we can go down? Yeah, fuck it. All right, we'll wait for him. This is like, uh, this is like operate the fountain, obviously. Yeah, yeah you got a pump, filter system. Yeah. Same thing on the other side. You got another vault in the basement. There's actually four different basements here. Oh, yeah? And then each one of them has different stuff. There's 88 different zones on the irrigation system, four different control areas. Huh. Um, lots of electricity and stuff down in these things. That one down there has got a 500,000 volt transformer in it. <laughs> that breaks down into uh, four 800s and a 400. Huh. That, that for amps and then, yeah, then distributes everywhere. But Okay. See that report now. Yeah. But yeah, oh, you guys shooting some pictures or something? Yeah, you would have yeah. seen. I'm like, uh, I if do you guys some... want to come down for a minute, be really careful though. Okay. Yeah, yeah I do some like stuff around Fort Wayne and cool. stuff, so. I say just really watch your step, it's quite steep. Okay. Is it recording right now? Everything in here from toads to frogs, to <laughs> torn up cups, money, a little bit of everything. Shoe ones before. Really? The shoes are tough because they'll get in the gate valve. Yeah. The gate valve won't close. So then you got to jog it. It's kind of a castle. Yeah, in the summertime, this is pretty much a regular gig. Right there. Oh, yeah. A bunch of styrofoam. This stuff goes into everything, and once it's there, yeah, it plugs it up. And there's with the grass and stuff. See, that's, we get a lot of dead grass. A lot of kids come through, so they track the grass and collect all that. Huh. You can usually tell by the height of the water out there how dirty the stack is. Oh, okay. Most of traffic we've been getting. Yeah. Is that every couple hours you have to come down here? About every two or three. Yeah. I kind of watch it. I use the, the fence up there on top of my barometer. It goes uh, underneath the top level of the fence that I know it's time to come down and clean it. Huh. And I got the job doing handyman stuff down here. Other than the British days, they bought this pack and somebody told them, well, no maintenance. Well, anybody that knows anything yeah, about right. anything knows that there's no such thing as no maintenance. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I knew it had something to do with that fountain. I know he works there and um, he's awesome for showing us around. That was pretty awesome. A little secret behind Headwaters Fountain. All the controls and the secrets you didn't know. Secrets you didn't know. Only from the Fort Wayne vlogger. <laughs> Construction uh, going on. Down here in front of the tallest building of Fort Wayne, which is there. Not sure exactly what they're doing over here. Probably just kind of redoing the landscape and such, make it look nicer. Well, since we're here, we're gonna go up to the top to this uh, lookout point that they got up here. Up on the uh, 26th floor it is. What the f Close!
Oh, really? Yeah. So this is the lookout point here, which I've shown in the vlog before, which is really cool. It's uh, open to the public when the uh, when the building's open. Obviously, you can come up here and look out, park you feel there. Little factoid, these stairs actually go up to like the top of the elevator shaft. This is where that goes. So like the, the tippy top. Is that where you went when you got on the roof? Nah. Um, yeah. To get on the roof you actually have to go through this door down here and there's like like on that brown wall in there, there's like a stairwell on the other side of that wall that takes you up to the rooftop. And that's where I was for the fourth of July, shooting the fireworks up off there as well as the Three Rivers Festival. Shot the fireworks, shooting the fireworks, bro. But yeah, can't get enough of this view. It's always pretty sweet. 10K egg hatching. What is it? Fuck yeah! Onyx. Be big. All right guys, back here in my apartment. It was kind of a uh, fun little adventurous day. I don't know, I'm just gonna go out to lunch with Runyon and walk around, play some Pokemon, and then kind of ran into an opportunity and it was pretty cool. Usually I wouldn't normally do that, I don't know, but I get the courage, you know, if I have other people with me, just like ask, just have a request, like, hey, can I do this? Can I see this or something? I mean, I don't know, just things like that. I mean, everybody hates getting rejected for anything really so you know people just think well why ask if i know it's probably not going to happen or I'm just going to get rejected or whatever but then there's times like this where you never know and you know so might as well just go for it so really what i'm trying to say is like if there's anything you want to go for just just do it don't be afraid man you only like i hate the phrase but yolo you know <laughs> you only live once so why not just go for it That'll be it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Give us a like if you like. Subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright.